Oh, you got one. Well, come on, take a third. Take a second. No, I'm good. Thank you. Yeah, $19 to get in now. Hello, welcome to Hog Town. Hello. Would you like to try to catch a gummy bear out of a crossbow? Yes. She'll go first. Right. She'll catch it right on the nose. So you know it might hurt if I miss. So everything that happens from now on is your fault. My fault. You asked for it. Are you ready? Oh, 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 so oh, 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 See how this goes. Whoa, okay, that one really he almost fast. took his eye out. Come prepared. Very good stuff. Have a good one. Thanks, you too. You did. Now, had you picked this hand, it would have been okay because it would have been there too, you see. It could have been there. It wouldn't have mattered which hand you picked. You did help me find it. But of course, it wouldn't have been here if you picked that hand. It would have been there. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there any outfit? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It wouldn't have mattered if you were taking it here. Well, How'd you know? Magic. It's like Magic the Gathering. Hey, sir, did anyone tell you if you're going to go to a crappy barber shop, you're not allowed to wear visor hats? Okay, there you go. That's <laughs> going, sir. They're five for five and twelve Yeah, it's five dollars, five dollars throw. Of course. <laughs> Are you thirsty? No, they've got different types. Line, line, line. Different types. Can I take a picture of your ukulele? No? Okay. It's okay. He asked for a donation. Good job, Mingo. You might be asking for plant food. Hey, buddy. Oh my god. No, we don't want to accept this fucking thing. So what do you say? You promise not to move. Not even if I have to catch you. 
<laughs> Only if I have to catch you. Hey, congratulations. He's 13 
15 now. <laughs> I can tell you, anybody here five years old? Anybody, any five-year-olds? I don't see any. That's okay. But when you were five, you may not remember, but when we're five around that age, you cannot lose in anything. You can't lose. It's if it, you have a meltdown. You don't understand the concept of losing. You understand, right? So, so when the, they would get upset, my kids were teaching my grandson when he was five how to get along with other kids. So they told them, when you win at something, you do not make those that lost feel bad. When you win, you go to the losers. You go, that's okay. Nice try. It's a good lesson, right? Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, cool. yeah, good. So, so I, he comes to my house, and my grandparent name is Pepe. I'm Pepe. So he comes to my house, he's five, and he goes, Pepe, where do you work? That's a loaded question. So I tell him I work in the woods on the edge of town where we all make believe we're someplace else. And he looks at his mother, and then he walks over to me. He kisses me on the cheek and goes, that's OK, Pepe. <laughs> He's dry. He has no idea how much fun this is. I brought something in this box that should help all of you understand the person next to you. It is the only historical part of the show. This belonged to my brother, Leonardo da Vinci. This is from his codex. You can actually find this in his codex. It is part of his experiments. It was his study in human behavior. Very simple, right? Leonardo discovered that when each of us would look at these three shapes, that we would find one of them more pleasing to look at than the other two. It's an actual scientific fact. You will like one of these shapes more than the other two. So, so you're already making your selections, huh? Yes. I'm going to tell right away. Good news, no wrong answers. You cannot make a mistake. Usually, first one you choose is the right one for you. So please, don't worry. Don't, don't think about it. Just use your gut. It'll guide you every time, all right? Okay, so when I call out your shape, can you raise your hand in the air? Leave it up in the air so that the rest of our little family, here, look around. Just turn around, look, it's just all of us. A rest of our little family, uh, uh, we'll see you, and then we will tell everyone a little bit about your personality. <laughs> Take a breath, honey. We'll do, we'll do everybody. It's all right. You're going. Uh, <laughs> will those that have chosen the triangle please raise your hands? Thank you so much. Keep your hands up, please. Those that did not choose the triangle, take a moment. Turn around and take a good look at these people. Honey, get your arm up. I saw it. It's all right. Those that have chosen the, tri the triangle possess great intellect. Go, oh, you go nice and high. Now. It's all right. <laughs> these people are great thinkers, are visionaries, are leaders, those that will carry us into the future. Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> Now, those that have chosen the steady, sturdy square, please raise your hands. They're actually a rare breed. Can you raise your hands? Those that have chosen the square, it's all right. Be, be, don't be afraid. Put your hands up. I've got, raise your hand up high, okay? I've got one. I have two. I have three. I have, do I have any, do, three, I have, do I have any more squares with us? <laughs> be proud, be proud. Those that have chosen the square possess great creative ability. Whether you realize it or not in whatever your endeavor, with discipline, they will give us things we value far into the future. Give them a very big round of applause. Now, finally, will those that have chosen the, the uh, circle, please raise your hands. Those that have chosen... Raise your wow. hands. You gotta, you gotta uh, raise your hands. Get it up, sir. It's all right, honey. Get it up. It's all right. Those that have chosen that circle, the we are told by the great thinkers that these people... Get it up, pal. That these people constantly pick up nothing else but booze and sex. <laughs> and they usually clap for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is more. <laughs> Give yourselves a big round of applause. <laughs> All right. If you will, my friends, we'll have more.
want to get some more people That's to funny. come over and join us. Is that okay? Is that yeah. Yeah. More people, more fun, know? right? Sweetheart okay, Dimension. so I'm going to try a little something. If you don't mind, if when I'm blowing this horn, if you guys don't mind, would you cheer and clap and go crazy? Is that all right? Is that all right? Sure. All right? Yeah. Yep. yeah I'll do my best. I, I blow on the horn, you guys cheer and go crazy. But before I do, anybody here ever in Machu Band? Anybody do Machu Band? Keep your hands up. Yell out which play. Baritone. Baritone. Clarinet. Cool. What else? Where? Bass drum. Saxon Saxon baton. Saxophone. Saxophone. Oh, it's a reunion. Look at that. Oh, good. Anybody else? I miss anybody? Anime? Oh, did I? No? Ladies and gentlemen, I went to a small school. Did anybody here go to a small school? Anybody? I'll tell you what. Small schools are hard. They would press you into service in whatever event they didn't have enough kids for. And by default, I became my high school marching band's only asthmatic tuba player. It wasn't supposed to happen, but it did. But I can blow on this horn. So with your help, if you'll cheer and go crazy, more people, thousands of... Dozens of people will come rushing to join us and we have more fun. That's all right, you gotta say right. 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 Just remember, you cheer even if I suck when I blow. Don't suck when you blow. Thank you, Ben, people. Thank you.
together, okay? So on the count of three, can you take a deep collective breath? Are you ready? One, two, three. <sighs> and then down. Let's do it again. That was really good. One, two, three. <sighs> and then down. Look at you guys. Like you've been breathing all your life. Right. <laughs> all right. Now we're going to use our bonds. Can you shake out your arms over your head like this, everybody? It's Come on, if we all do it, it won't look stupid. Over your head. Over your head. Okay, now, <laughs> now, we're also going to sing. This is for vibration for singing. Okay, it's vibration. I want you, if you will, please, to lick. Do that. Take a tongue. Take a tongue. As of the mouth. Take a tongue. I can see you from here. Take it. Don't do that or look at me, sir. But that was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again as a team. One, two, three. Now, one more time. Lick. <laughs> Your lips. This time, get them really juicy. Go, go, go. I know what you're thinking. Who's your grandpa? Sorry. <laughs> Next to you. 
some of you are <laughs> They go like this. When we finally get wet and we get to this bed, that's the morning. Let's say that together, okay? When, when we, we finally get, get wet and, and we get, get to this, this bed, bed, that's amore. Second part of this. This is Susanna the Delicious in our story singing to her beloved Figaro. It goes. <laughs> Sir, do you want us to wait? No. I'll be right back. <laughs> and the second verse is when this is Susanna the Delicious singing to her beloved Figaro, it goes, when you get on the ball and you jump what I call, that's the ball. Right? <laughs> you get the girl smile, let's say it. Let's say it again. When you get on the ball and you jump what I call, that's Amore. You're so nice, guys. Thank you. Honey, go ahead and go. Go. She, she's getting some beer. I know. I'll see you at the house. Okay. <laughs> All right. You guys, take a deep breath. We're about ready. You're losing the crowd, You're ready? sir. You're losing Deep breath. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Boom. This bed that's a more way. When you get on the bell and you jump when I call, that's a more Now we're going to do sound effects too. Can you put out your wings like this? Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Those with the beer. One way. Let's not drink and fly, all right? Everybody go like this. Go. The next one of the bees buzzing, but like this. Thank you. The next one's easier. A peaceful sigh. You know what? It one that feels good. Let's do it again. Ready? One, two, three. Now, this next one, you'll like this. This is the sound that we make when we hear the name Susanna. Quiet, sir. Don't run. I can see you. That's all right. I good luck with your son. <laughs> love when people. I love that. That's great. Here we go. All right, so, so uh, uh, ah, let's do it again. One, two, three. Uh, now this is the sound that we make when we hear the name Susanna the Delicious. When you hear the name Delicious, everybody slurp. <laughs> Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Contessa make at the end of every sentence, she has a tendency to laugh and snort. Do you have any snorters with us? Any snorters? There's some great songs of people pointing out family members. <laughs> Sound like this. Uh -huh. Let's try that again. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Beautiful. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I upon the considerable talents of this audience. There is so much to choose from here, but I was lucky because I saw that man right there. Hi, sir. Hi. Hi. Ma'am, what is his name? Jacob. Oh, glad you had to think about it. Jason. <laughs> Jason. Yeah. Give Jason a big round of applause. No, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to someone. This is a celebrity alumni. He's been up with me before. He's still in the 12-step program. It just sounds like it's a trash. I don't know what it is. It's an attraction. Give a big round, everybody. And that man right there, I love that man's face. What is your name? Nathan. Nathan, come on up and give me a hand. Give Nathan a big round. Hi. Hey. You're so busy, I know, but can you have someone hold that and come I with sure me? I sure can. Yay. Give what's your name? Daniel. Give Daniel a big round, everybody. Who can hold this for you? Are you recording? Yeah. Hold yeah. okay. on, this way. Nathan, Nathan, this is Daniel. Guys, shake hands, if you will, and come out fight. <laughs> come on, Nathan. Okay. Okay. Ah! Alright, so gentlemen, I'm very glad to have you here. Welcome and thank you so much. I want to tell you, your job is easy. 
You don't have to paint it. He looks very time. handsome in that skirt. Right, I'll stand next to you the whole time. Whenever it's your turn, I'll tap, I'll say your line, I'll tap you. You'll repeat the same thing you do. Tap you. 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 You okay with that? Good. You didn't really look at anybody. No. Now, that's right. Now, fellas, uh, here's the hard part. Come on in. This is, this is the hard part. Now I have two strapping guys with me, and I have to decide which one of them is going to be the woman. <laughs> with the skirt. They are. Ladies and gentlemen, who wants Daniel to be the woman? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's prettier anyway. There you go! <laughs> yeah. Oh, that looks like you got to be You're going to have to hit on him. Wait over here. Right there. Daniel, come forward right here. I've got something special for you, sir. Come right over here, Nathan. Nathan, come here. This is for you. Sorry. If you go, just put that on <laughs> Wait, is that the right way? No. Into a butterfly. Oh. Nathan, just put your. He's not even looking at his hands. Well, he said underneath. Soak the guns, man. Hang on a second. Let me get the other one too. Just go ahead and set him up the way you like. I know he's missing the best part. I like him. That was great. Everybody that's here. Looking for a little sparkle. 
Well, something that says that they know how to have a good time. Don't look down, I have already picked. <laughs> I was very lucky because earlier on I saw this woman and I wanted to ask you, honey, what is his name? David, she was so ready to get you up. <laughs> David, what is her name? Holly. Holly and David, would you guys help me, please? Give a big round for David! Holly! Yeah. 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 Come on here. That's right. We can keep an eye on Come on up this way. Give a big round for David and Holly! Yeah. Yeah. Step up, you can. All right, never mind. Okay. <laughs> See, you still do it. I can't. That's it. Right. David, go say hi to the guys. Hey, Mom. How are you? Very nice to meet you. Very good. <laughs> Give Holly a big round of applause. Yeah. You know why they did that? Because it wasn't them. Really, that's really the great reason. Oh, oh, David, can she be loud? <laughs> you need a lift home, we'll work it out. Honey, can you come right next to me, Holly? Just, I want you to put your feet, show the length of her, okay? And then bend down like this. Just like keep your head up so they can see you. And then your loudest voice go, hello! And they're going to go crazy. Go. Hello! in our love story. Say hello to Cherubino the Parka! David, come behind and Holly, put your hands on her oh, hips. Arm. Back up. No, no, no. <laughs> this is Cherubino's head and this is Cherubino's butt. Now we will be hearing from both of Cherubino during the show. Just hello. 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 David, set straight. You go, set, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Hey. Hey. I was made for this role. I was made for this role. <laughs> Give him a big round. Yeah. Guys, come over this way for me, please. You stand right down here, Nathan. You go back in this corner, right over there. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Our story takes a place in Spain, on the outskirts of Seville, in the sleepy village of De Las Vegas. All of De Las Vegas is prepared for the happy occasion of the marriage of Figaro and Susanna, but, thank you, David. But the count has other lusty plans. Now the Contessa and her trusted servant, Cherubino the Jackass, and the Contessa overhear the count's proposition to meet Susanna in the garden that night and a plot unfolds in which the Contessa, Cherubino, Figaro, and Susanna plan to stop the Count's attack. <laughs> Show of hands, how many people glazed over? <laughs> I, I know, I saw, I saw, I saw. When I asked you to everybody, really, I know you glazed over too. <laughs> Join me in the sacred pledge. Would you be so kind as to raise a hand or a foot? And repeat after me. <laughs> I. I. Your name. Your name. Your name.
Is that good or what? Yeah. That guy's very excited. Good job, man. All right. Good. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, they have present for the very first time anywhere, anywhere in the world, our opera, Go Figaro. of the Las Vegas prepares for the happy occasion of the marriage of Figaro and Susanna. The Birch Church! Happy to see you. 
No, I don't want to see it. <laughs> If it's five or ten, I don't care. I'm just glad you were here because I'm going to tell you the truth. Thank you for the joy you give me, too. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Go. Oh, by the way, before you go, coming up next, um, it is uh, Just Desserts, a singing uh, a ladies' group that is very bawdy and a lot of fun. And then New Minstrel Review. If you haven't heard them yet, Listen to the voices these people have. They are awesome. In the meantime, ciao, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
You warm now? Yeah. Look up the rat show. Brad wants to see the rat Is that who the guy was telling us to see? The rat catcher or the rat? No, you remember the guy that y'all were staying talked to for a long time? What did he tell y'all to see? The rat guy? Who? 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah, no, I stopped for a second. Um, they actually might sell real leather boots. They're going to be, I mean, pricey, but we can see. Some, I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a leather worker. Yeah, this guy's amazing for what he makes. Yeah, no, he does a great job with it. Yeah, he doesn't look very happy with the guy with the clean hat. He looks all sorts of depressed. Yeah, there are other fairs that run also. There's one running in. Someone told me there's one running in Melbourne right now, too. I feel the wind is like, wow. Yeah, the breeze is gorgeous right now. This is one of the nicer days I've been out to this fair before. Oh, Coco. They're, they're bow ties. So, like a Doctor Who bow tie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can Wood put bow that ties? on your... I'll fit to work. Um, How will that would actually go on? Yeah, I'll fit to work. The question is, how would you get that on the... the... That would be... Yeah, but look how they're... $15. You should not be getting it. 
Coco. See, that's the shop that sells the drinking horns. I see. No need that. And it's like, oh, this guy blend in here. The ear. <laughs> We have the yeah, home yeah. There's actually two different shots. This one and there's one on the other side that's selling the elf here is also. Yeah. 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 You're probably you might be the only one here wearing a pet dragon on on your neck like that today. Payback. Wait, what? Remember that movie, Payback? Oh, yeah, yeah. Coco, come here. You'll fit that, too. Do you have a sword already? Why not? It's like you got a little happy dog. Yeah, that is Groot. He likes to sit in his little bed and watch everybody walk by. Leather boots. Yeah. Since you asked about. <laughs> I have a fake letter. Letter? Like these? Do you have anything similar like these? Um, Style. Uh, the closest of these. Oh, I'm sorry? Yeah, and that's just a flat leather. Very similar, except it doesn't lace in the back. That's the big difference. It's a flat and it doesn't lace in the back. Small legs. Yeah. <laughs> something for something shorter. Uh, give give it just a minute, and the guy in the doublet there, talk to him. That's the bootmaker. Oh. See, maybe if he he might have something that would be a little bit more. Okay. Fit for what you're looking for. What? These girls are cute. Across the way for a second. Hello. Do you sell longbow strings? I think I've got some extra ones. They're uh, B55 Dacron, and it's a hand-twisted Flemish twist, and then they're waxed. Okay. So, um, but yeah, were you, were you looking for extra ones, or just wondering I've, where they're made from? I've got a bow, and I've had a lot of trouble finding a string for it, because none of the shops sell longbow strings. What, um, do you know what the, I don't even know if you've got any on me, though. I want to say I want to say it's a 60-inch bow. It's probably about the length of what you have running right here. See, so let me. I'm, I'm going to write down a place where you can get an extra bow string. Okay, that would be awesome. So, there's, and these guys are great because they they deal a lot in medieval bows. Because okay. I buy um, medieval bodkin points from them. Okay. It's called Three Rivers Archery. They've got a great website, um, so I would I would go there 
because they do long bows, they do American flat bows, and they do traditional horn knot long bows. Awesome. And if not there, then try Rose City Archery. But I, I think you're gonna get, um, you're gonna have more luck with three rivers. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. That's who I get my arrows and stuff. Cool. How is your fair giving going for you guys? So far, so good, yeah. I like your shirt too. I spent a lot of money yeah. on Reaper I'm, minis over the years. Yeah, <laughs> I got, I've got a bunch I've painted. I've got to get some new paint because the ones I've had just dried out. But uh, I've yeah. done a lot of painting of them. They're fun. Yeah, man. Uh, I used to buy the Citadel miniature paints like, when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, they got Vallejo paints at Hobby Lobby, yeah. I love the Vallejo. Nice. Okay. Yeah, that's really pretty. Cool. Well, thank you for the shirt. This was a coupon tear shirt. So after you bought the figurines, right, you tear them off and you would send it to enough of them and I got I think, two of these shirts at that point. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, man. We enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So they make, they make everything here. They made these bows. I've got a long bow right now, but I don't have a string for it. So I asked if he sells strings, and he gave me information on where to buy strings from. <coughs> Do you remember the music group Empty Hat? Do you want to listen to them play today? They play at 3 o'clock right here. So that's why I was wanting, because we can make our way back around to listen to them if you want. They're usually fun to listen to. Is Hannah? Hannah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? It's a bike. No. Oh. It's a corset. Look up top. You're right. That's tips. <laughs> it's okay. It it looks like it might keep it cold. Thank you. <laughs> See the giant coming. That's, uh, that's still pretty impressive. The swings. Mushroom launchers. They're not mushrooms. Marshmallow launchers. Marshmallow. Oh. Marshmallow. Not mushroom. I've got the jacket. Yeah. 
whatever you want to see. Um, Coco, let's go back around this way because we actually ran past all those really early, didn't stop to look at anything. Queen of Scotland called the Queen of Argyle. 
And if you see the Queen of England about the Shire, don't let her know we're singing this song. <laughs> don't confuse her with me, it happens all the time. <laughs> Especially at the pub. When they're open.
based upon an actual Irish custom of what happens when a man comes home late from the pub. Gentlemen, you know who you are. And so do I. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Seamus, me mates, we've had a pint and lots of talk. But I hear me wife a calling. I hope I still can walk. It's time we wandered out through our hats and to the door. Cause we'll both be sleeping easy if they stay put on the floor. Oh, you turn the choreography. I love that. Oh, now I don't know what the hell the words are. <laughs> I think I'm going to start from the beginning. Seamus, me hate we got a pint and lots of talk. But I hear me like a calling. I hope I still can walk. It's time to wander home. Throw our hats into the door. Cause we'll both be sleeping easy if they stay for all. Magician. 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 No, I have to remember half of them. That's okay. It's okay. It's good. Oh, la la. He's like, I'm gone. Looney Lucy naming names. Because she remembers them all. <laughs> Ladies, see if you recognize any of these things. <laughs> la, 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 How could I choose? Why should I choose? Everything about them makes me la 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 la. Alfred, he wants me when I'm chill. Just in me, he rides me like a Billy Jean. He cooks for me, a boost for me. Just a smear of chocolate makes me la 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Pierre, he dresses me in satin, 
Brian Nee loves to teach me Latin alphabetically or phonetically quid pro quo, which means Her bird, he feeds me cheese and mango. Jose, he loves to do the tango horizontally or vertically. When we dip, you know, it makes me But now they're gone. What shall I do?
tree. Oh. The man who shakes the tree, jerk him off. <laughs> We have one more set right here you later do. on. We got magic boxes right over there. Thank you much. We're empty. 